Good morning. It's a beautiful day. The sun is coming up. The sea is calm. Ooh, some yachts just going out for a sail there. A little fishing boat behind. Well, it is a bit like heaven on earth, isn't it? It's beautiful. Birds flying, calling. Clear sky, which is quite unusual in these parts. I think that sea mist is going to burn off soon. The weather forecast is good. Oop. And we've got a little boat overtaking all the others. <laughs> Beautiful. I do thank God for the creation of the elements, the planet. <clears throat> no matter what man thinks, there's, there's some force that's greater than us that creates everything that we see and have the ability to enjoy. And uh, boats are a pretty good man made thing, actually. <laughs> Great. So I'm just enjoying this beautiful dawn and I thought I'd share with you some work on uh, Jesus' viewpoint of healing and faith. So in my books I explore the scriptural message of healing and for me it sheds a new light on the scriptures. Um, working as a therapist and working with energies in the body, uh, understanding the difference between love and stress, the autonomic nerve response, then it, it all makes perfect sense. Um, and one thing that I found that was really interesting when uh, looking at how Jesus healed so every time that there was a healing, one, he never took credit for it, but two, he always said, your faith has made you well. So that told me that faith is an important part of getting well. And to get well, we need to have a positive goal. We need to believe that we can get well. We need to believe we can transcend the pain in our body. And most pain is, is emotional. And, uh, and most pain comes from um, betrayal or hurts, abuse. And that causes emotional disturbance. It causes trauma. And it puts the body into a stressful state of being, into a cortisol blood. And as I use the hashtag, <clears throat> love is not a cortisol. But it's, I believe it's an endorphin blood. And the endorphins lead us to happiness, connection, connectedness, and uh, the ability to attain to peace and love within ourselves and you know, that feeling of bliss, rapture, heaven on earth, whatever you want to call it. But they're states of being we have to attain to in ourselves. And I believe that that really only comes from moral living and treating each other well and kindly. And a lot of people can do that. But we need to uh, have that coming from our leaders as well. And governments need to be thinking about making the world a better place for the people to live in. And that's going to um, reduce the stress and that'll reduce the conflict and... We don't have need for war, really, do we? 
we don't need to fight over things because the, be the world is beautiful wherever it is and there's plenty here for everybody. If only we can have a mindset of abundance and faith and not fear that we're going to lose it. Not fear that a meteor is going to hit the earth. Not fear that someone's going to take it away. We have to trust and share. Share the beauty for all. So healing and faith. Yeah, I'm in Mark 5.34. Daughter, your faith has made you well. Go in peace and be good health from your grievous sickness. There's much talk about good health in the Bible. In 2 Timothy 4, it says how people won't want to hear the, faith, the healthful teachings. Which is true, because so many people think that, oh, you know, not to sin, oh, I'm going to deny myself, oh, I'm not going to have a good time. Well, I know that I learnt from, from sins that they cause great anguish within the self. And then when you've got anguish within yourself, you want to blot out that. How do you get rid of those uncomfortable feelings? And, uh, and so people blot them out. Alcohol, drugs, um, obsessive behaviours, all sorts of uh, methods are used. But actually, if we don't do those things in the first place, then we don't have those uncomfortable feelings. And if we trust, then generally things will work out anyway. And if we want something, we work hard for it. Relationships, that's quite a hard one. <laughs> but it's valuing another person then. And to love, you know, we want to share and, and be together. Um, <clears throat> and uh, that all seems quite hard in this world at the moment. Um, but really, with, we need to have trust, security, connectedness, stability. That's where we find the real joys in life, not temporary, temporary, uh, temporary measures of uh, false elation that is unsustainable. So yeah, so uh, also Mark 9.23, Jesus said to him, that expression, if you can, why all things can be to one if one has faith. So faith is a positive mindset. It's the all assured expectations of the, the things hoped for, the evident demonstration of things not yet beheld. And when we work with uh, helping people to get well, we work with the imagination. Coleridge talks about the use of the uh, imagination. Um, as a tool for, for recreation and uh, we need to be able to imagine and um, and create know where we're going know what it feels like to be well I've got my poem Divinity uh, which is uh, is in, for that inspired for that Romans 10 13 14 so of course the council to the Romans you know, it was um, a, a pretty idolatrous and adulterous uh, society at that time. And we must remember the name of God, of which Jehovah is one, Yahweh, uh, Yeshua, Jesus Christ, the Anointed One, so whole with the Spirit of love, the one who creates and Love is the ultimate state of being, so the God of love creates love. And not only does he create love in us, in the way that our bodies are made, but also by teaching us how to attain to that. So everyone who calls on the name of Jehovah, or Yahweh, will be saved. How will they call on him in whom they have not put faith? If you don't have faith in love, how are you going to get there? Many accounts of healing in the Bible depend on faith. The desire to be healed and the faith that they can be made well. Therefore, they will be made well by the power of God through the name of his son, Jesus Christ, the Anointed One. So that means they will be made well through the whole spirit of love. And the whole spirit of love reaches beyond that uh, excitement and uh, the feelings we can feel um, towards another. Um, it goes deep into uh, respect and not betrayal. And then should those things occur, then there has to be a repentance to say sorry. So forgiveness can be, can be given and 
people can change their ways and resolve their problems. So, um, so yes, so the whole spirit of love involves repentance and turning around from, uh, from behaviours that are hurtful to another or to each other. Um, and when this can't be done, then relationships break down. And I'm sure we can all uh, relate to those. So, so could it be that his name, Anointed One, is a vital factor in these healing accounts? If to be anointed means to have Holy Spirit, a spirit that is whole, sound, complete in positive emotions of love, faith and hope, with trust, then there is the ability to discern, to reason right from wrong, to have choice, to set our intentions, our will, that can be applied to our weakness, whether emotional, psychological or physical. Healing has to occur in at least one of these levels to be made whole and strong, which will with time filter into all levels. <coughs> Excuse me, all levels of our conscious being. To be physically well, we have to want to be physically well, and we have to live in harmony with God's laws for love, which in turn benefits all, which strengthens all. If we believe we can be well, have faith, we can be well, we can trust and know that there is a possibility to become well. And I know people who are suffering with, with the terrible diseases that uh, we're seeing growing all the time and the rampant cancer epidemic uh, it's uh, it's hard to think that faith can make a difference in those circumstances personally i wonder you know when disease has got to a level where it, it's uh, taken over the body um I'm afraid I'm in agreement with God that it's better not to do the things in the first place, and that includes ruining our planet. You know, I think people are, are getting diseases from living in toxic environment, living with too much stress, not enough time. Um, hope is is uh, is hard for young people these days. You know, the way society is, that young people are really. Um, taken advantage of in my opinion certainly where where we live in in Great Britain and um, this whole property thing it's just like you know houses have been robbed from the young people house prices are too expensive to not be living a very stressful life to sustain them and that's not how it's meant to be and so we're seeing stress in young people that is just way 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 uh, beyond what it should be. That's not supporting our children. That's not looking after the next generation. It's not looking after the future. And, um, you know, these, um, the, the epidemic of mental health, anxiety. Is there any wonder, really, when, when there is? There's very little hope, trust, for them to be able to attain to some sense of security. It's the whole reason that we have civilised, supposedly civilised societies. And if you're not providing that, then... Hmm. So, um, yeah, this money, money's not the God. Money shouldn't be what makes life nice. What makes life life... What makes life nice is having time and giving, that's why charity is so important. Giving and sharing and communities, looking after the environment and uh, taking that time. The difference between a nice place that costs a lot of money, it's expensive, is care. Just that people care, they make it look nice, therefore it increases the value. But everywhere can be like that. It just takes care and effort. Getting away from the TV, expecting to be entertained. You know, we can create the world where we live, the body that we live in and how we feel in it. And when it feels good, it's less likely to get ill. Faith joins the left brain with the idea and the creative right brain. 
There has to be love and trust in order for the corpus callosum, the cable link between the two brain hemispheres, to function. When healing occurs, there is an understanding of what the physical malediction means on a mental and emotional level, a consciousness of the cause of the problem, understanding which in turn dissipates the negative energy and allows the restoration of nerve pathways to open up. The closer we are to the true God with faith in Jesus Christ, anointed, whole spirit of love, our perfect model for our behaviour, the clearer our nerve message is, and the more fulfilled our being becomes with negativity being replaced by trust, love, faith and hope. <clears throat> And that takes us right back to the, the Garden of Eden, where um, God said that we would positively die. We would surely die if we ate from the tree of the knowledge of good and bad. And it might sound a little bit naive to think that we don't need to know the bad, but personally, why do we want to know bad? You know, we have that expression, what, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger, but God, why, do we, why do we even have to put people in those situations? Um, often through denial, through control, withholding, denying somebody that, that whole spirit of love and success and joy which in fact is the greatest sin in the Bible, to deny somebody that love is cruel and that makes people sick and it makes them ill. So we have to be positive and that's right back in the book of Genesis. You see all these latest trends in seeing in uh, you know, people wanting to learn about compassion now charging fortunes for courses on it. <clears throat> the Carativs, I once heard it called quite recently. And people selling these, making a lot of money, and then saying God doesn't exist. <laughs> Removing the theocratic... Uh... Yeah. So, um... Yeah, there's a money incentive there, isn't it? Just as the arts are being monetized as well. So, uh, we need to get back to giving these things freely. It's uh, nice to see, actually, the music is coming back alive in, uh, in local places here, certainly. Live music is, uh, is thriving, and what a joy. And, uh, it's not, not for money, it's for love, <clears throat> and people are looking happy, it's great, <laughs> so long may it continue. <clears throat> inherited diseases, sometimes people think that they inherited disease because they believe they will get the same diseases as their family. How many people think a pain is the start of arthritis, when there is a time window of years, and <clears throat> when uh, some good hands-on therapy will clear that pain completely. There is a vogue of faith towards getting ill, almost, and unfortunately there is now the added factor of pain and discomfort and emotional trauma being financially viable, leading to a culture where our well-being is dependent on others and any amount of injury caused is accountable regardless of wrong or right. Yeah, I see. Injury can be profitable, can't it? But what money could ever compensate having the freedom? And so much can be healed when you know how. Can we ever achieve to happiness in a culture like this? We have to have self-responsibility and self-control. and the realisation that our thoughts affect our life, good ones as well as fearful ones. And if we want to be happy and healthy in life, we can only achieve this with recognition that the scriptural teachings are accurate and true for everyone's well-being. Men, women and children of the whole world 
and all of the animals and nature kingdoms too. Intention is everything. The motive, the desire to do good or not. We create our environment by faith, by the thoughts we think. You have to have that certainty. So a lot of my work has been exploring the healing aspect of the, uh, the gemstones and the names of the sons of Israel in the, the holy city, the new Jerusalem. And that promise, actually, that promise for healing and peace to come to earth, it's uh, certainly been my sustainer through, through much of uh, my life and difficulties in my life been very helpful to me. Revelation 21, and I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the former heaven and the former earth had passed away, and the sea is no more. The sea refers to, to uh, peoples. I saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down out of the heaven from God, and prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. With that I heard a loud voice from the throne say, Look, the tent of God is with mankind, and he will reside with them, and they will be his peoples, and God himself will be with them. And he will wipe out every tear from their eyes, and death will be no more. Neither will mourning, nor outcry, nor pain be any more. The former things have passed away. Isaiah 66, God says that heaven, the heavens are my throne and the earth is my footstool. Where then is the house that you people can build for me? And where then is the place as a resting place for me? Now all these things my own hand has made so that all these things came to be. For each to build and have occupancy of their own house. Romans 8.23, not only that we ourselves also who have the first fruits, namely the Spirit, yes, we ourselves groan with ourselves while we are earnestly waiting for adoption as sons, the release from our bodies by ransom. For we were saved in this hope, but hope that this is seen, but hope that is seen is not hope. For when a man sees a thing, does he hope for it? But if we hope for what we do not see, we keep on waiting for it with endurance, with faith, striving towards it. Release from our bodies from the pain. I, I don't believe that the rapture is going to take people off the earth. Is that a, it is, it's that ascension into to living in spirit rather than living in flesh. So living with consciousness and knowing <clears throat> the difference between what's right and wrong and how to behave rather than the, f the fleshly traits as described in Galatians where we fall into those, um, those fleshly urges that uh, can be very overcoming but then leave us not feeling good. there is a promise for healing <clears throat> and that's the message that I'd like to to share because there's certainly a, a, um, a lack of this knowledge I feel so um, each and every person needs to create positive mindset, positive body, attain to healthy living, for them to feel good, for us to feel good in our mind, body and spirit and have that freedom and self-control and self-actualization to be able to follow the passions, the healthy passions, the good things that we love to do and, uh, and share the joy of life and of love. 
and have time to be able to enjoy that. I think that's something that's quite important, time. So many people don't have enough time these days. So, have a great day. It's um, May the uh, hmm, 5th, I think, today. <laughs> so, holiday weekend in the UK. The weather's, uh, weather forecast is good, so I think everybody will be happy this weekend. So, uh, may the Lord Jesus Christ return to Earth soon for healing and restoration to the planet and the people for heaven on Earth. Amen. And the healing is for all nations, and we're all human, so we all respond to thoughts in the same way, whatever part of the world we're from. And if we find the fruits of the Spirit, the joy, the peace, the, the love, it's the same for every human being, every nationality, all nations, and peace will come. Amen. Bye.